Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Thrathinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to handle the radio button using WebDriver API commands. It is exactly similar to checkbox handling. If you have understood my previous video, then it is easier for you to understand about radio button. These are all the methods we are going to use it today to verify whether the radio button is displayed or not, is enabled or not, is selected or not and to select the radio button using the click method. This is a sample test case. Let me explain the requirement in the application. As per the requirement, we have to navigate to cleartrip.com in the flight tab. You can see three radio buttons, one way round trip and multi-city. We have to check whether the radio trip button is displayed or not, enabled or not, whether it is selected or not, then we have to select this. Once again, we have to verify whether it is selected or not. You may have a curious question how to unselect the radio button. It is exactly how we do functionally. We have to select the other radio button to unselect the present radio button. Now we will start the coding. To start the coding, we must need what is the value of round trip. Select it, right click, inspect the element. You can see here for round trip radio button for ID locator the value is round trip. As I already said it is a good practice we have to inspect the nearby radio button to make sure it is a unique property. For one way the ID is one way and for round trip it is round trip. For multi city the ID is multi city. So all the three radio button have a different unique value. We will take the ID locator value, copy it, paste the value. So we have created a class handle radio button then created a new instance for a Firefox driver, maximized the window then launch the required URL using the get method. As per our requirement, the next step is web element give a proper naming convention round trip radio button equal to driver dot find element by dot id value we have to give within the code semicolon now we have parameterized the value import the web element we can mention this particular variable wherever we want to use this instead of mentioning this full line the next step is to verify the round trip radio button is displayed or not if round trip radio button dot is displayed then the output message will be the round trip radio button is displayed else condition round trip radio button is not displayed. Next step is to verify the round trip radio button is enabled or not. Same like previous step if round trip radio button dot is enabled then output message is round trip radio button is enabled else else it is not enabled. The next step is whether it is selected or not same like previous step round trip dot is selector then output message needs to be displayed else we have to display the radio button is not selected then as per our requirement the next step is to select the radio button for that round trip radio button dot click after selecting the radio button we have to verify the status so copy paste the above code we are going to launch the application, maximizing it, navigating to this URL and then verifying whether it is displayed or not, enabled or not, selected or not. Then it will select the radio button. After it is selecting, we have to verify what is the status of that. We will run and see. Click on run. Driver is launched. Navigated to the required URL. Then it is checking whether the round trip is displayed, enabled and selected or not. After that, it selected the value. Then it is verifying the status after selection. We will see the results file. You can see the results. First, it checked the value. It is displayed. Then it is enabled. Then initially the value is not selected. Then we are clicking on the radio button and verifying the whether it is selected or not. Hope you understood how to handle the radio button. 
that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries in the comment or mail me and don't forget to subscribe to get the notification for new video uploads thanks for watching happy learning